Okay, you guys, you've been asking me for another video about your note. I think I've mentioned a few times about using sound, using one note and using your soul note. So hopefully you can hear me well on this. Um, okay, so using your soul note, what is a soul note? And a few artists out there, a few uh, sound healers out there calling it a soul note or your heart note. I think somebody calls it your divine note as well. So basically what it is, is a note, is a sound, as one note that you create with your voice that makes you feel good. And children have this ability to just hum a little, a little uh, sound when they're feeling happy, when they're feeling a little bit out of sorts, just to get themselves back in balance. If you ever worked with children who are on the, um, the autistic spectrum, you will notice that they use a lot of sound. And their, this is their innate ability, especially the children, is their innate ability to use sound to come back to balance. And we know throughout our lives that we use sound to make ourselves feel good by using perhaps a, a piece of music that we love, an instrument that we like to listen to. Perhaps it's a natural piece of music that brings us into a space of memory, a, a time that you felt good. Um, so music and sound have the ability to change the way we feel. We have the ability to change the way we feel by listening to sounds. And because we can change the way we feel by listening to sounds, we can also change the way we feel by creating sounds. So your soul note is a note that makes you feel good when you make it. And you may already know it. You may already go into kind of, perhaps you are, you are um, whistling a little tune and it's pretty much on the octave or one particular note. And you don't need to know what the note is. There are again some schools of thoughts out there that say that one note represents a chakra and the next note represents the next chakra and there's like a, a system. Uh, that follows notes and chakras. There are systems that follows notes and planetary bodies. There are systems, very ancient systems, that talk about the resonance of each organ in the body. So you can Google about those. Now, the human body is vibrating at a frequency that is optimal, and it's also vibrating the frequency of your well-being so if your body is a little bit out of balance if you're not eating right if you're not sleeping well if you are um, under stress your organs are going to be vibrating perhaps a little bit out of tune and this is usually what happens when when we stay out of tune for a long time then we create like a, a domino effect of in balance and that's when we create this ease in the body so there is a huge power in the human voice and our ability to use our instrument our sacred instrument to make us feel good but also to arise in consciousness and to rise into a space of all knowing into a space of what for this for this purpose i'm gonna call it the one mind so the 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 field of consciousness where we can connect to wisdom and the way i suggest to clients to connect with their one note if they have no idea what that might be is to sing when they're in the shower when you're in the bathroom when we're in that 
space of just relaxing because the water is running perhaps it's you know you're washing your hair and you're kind of massaging yourself and you by yourself you have permission to be yourself you're just enjoying being and enjoying your body and the the bathroom itself is it's usually tiled right in, in most countries is a space where the sound can bounce back at you so this is why i suggest the bathroom a really good place a car when you're driving is also a good one but make sure that you are also keeping an eye on the traffic so don't don't lose yourself while you're making the sound ideally park the car in a in a place of beauty close all the windows so that the sound can bounce back and um, make sounds and the sounds that you will make are, are very simple sounds always go for simplicity use a sound that you can make like an ah and then play with the with the note like going higher or lower or you want to use a ooh. you can use om but om has the o and the m in it so when you bring in the mm, the closed mouth back in it's more difficult to rise in the sound because you're bringing it back to center so maybe begin with an om if you want to just to get yourself in the mood in the playful space of quiet and then from the arm create a tone so one tone is one note and then just keep going and keep elongating it with um with the breath so one breath one note so for example i will go with an oo and i will make something like so I've used my whole breath and I did run out of sound but I still had a bit of breath left so it doesn't matter if you're an out of breath first or if you're an out of sound first it doesn't matter which just keep practicing and practice for a whole week and make different oohs and different ahs and different e's and see where it goes where it takes you play with it as if you are just experimenting with something new and then like if by magic you will find that one note that you're just repeating it's like it's the first thing that you go back to the next day and the next day and the next day and you might still want to experiment but you return to that one note to that one sound and so when you have a feeling that oh this is it i feel really good when i make this it's easy for me to make it it's easy for me to sustain i even feel like i can sing it even longer and even louder it feels good when i hear it i can't wait to make this sound again so that's your note that's as simple as that and then work with it as i said expand it use it in situations where perhaps perhaps um i don't know maybe you you have an important meeting or you have to make a phone call or you have to i don't know fill up a form that you've been um leaving to do at some point so just to give yourself that medicine it becomes your own medicine so play with that and then another aspect of using your note my dog is agreeing with me <laughs> another aspect of using your own soul note is that not only becomes your own medicine to bring you back to center but it is what i call the passport to the cosmos is the space where you are creating the sound that allows you to rise almost like as if you're sitting in the sound you're becoming like at one with the sound and you then journeying as if this becomes your passport and it opens the door to universal light to universal wisdom to universal knowing 
if you live in a place that has a lot of nature, if you can go to the woods, if you have stones, large stone bodies around you, stones, large rocks are very resonant. And one amazing thing about rocks is that they may actually hold frequency. So if you are lucky enough to live near, um, it, it needs to be a, a substantial size rock. And you might be lucky enough to live in places where standing stones are. Those are always resonant stones. You can go and sing with them. If you are, obviously, if you live in a, in a mountainous place where there may be a little cave, also uh, that would be a place where it's super resonant because then you're in nature surrounded by, by rocks, surrounded by Mother Earth. So play, experiment, rise, with your note, rise with your sound, and uh, catch up with me, tune in with me if you need assistance with, um, with your note, with your sound, or with anything that comes up. Sometimes using sound will open up memory and will open up cellular memory and whatever is stored in cellular memory may be past lives. So, get back at me if you need any assistance. I hope this helps. So much love. Bye-bye.